Thorchain Rune up 6.5%. This one as well we discussed yesterday along with INJ. And the one thing here you can see on the chart, it does have a low here in June, and it is trying to break out right now, right? And so one thing we've said among a lot of different altcoins this year is if we go above the, some of these more recent highs prior to that breakout is usually a great time to be dollar cost averaging. So for Rune here, right, we've made some good money on this coin. We bought it here in the summer of July, 2021, after the hack and, you know, people were really bearish on it. I bought some here in the summer, went basically from 380 to like $13, nice two to two and a half, three X. Um, we sold and it's basically been in a bear market ever since. But I do think it has a solid chance of its bear market low being in here in June, right? And that it's trying to break up here. So basically the dollar cost average here on Rune is 90 cents, right? To the February high of about $1.78. So let's say 90 cents to $1.90, right? Or $1 to $2. That's the area essentially to be dollar cost averaging into Rune, right? And then if it pops above that $2 mark, right? Then it pops up here to like, four dollars to twelve dollars right four to twelve dollars and you're averaging under two right so let's say your average price is two dollars right the higher end of that then you're looking for a two you know uh to what uh what what did we say it's twelve dollars right you're buying it two so what oh damn two to six x fucking good right pretty nice so doesn't might not break out of this two dollar area that it hit in February. It might not break out of that area until October, right? But it you know it might stay between one dollar to two dollars for a while. It's currently a dollar fifty nine, right? Smack dab in the middle. Not a bad price whatsoever, right? But let's look at the chart a little bit on Rune. Uh oh, gave it away. <laughs> The answer is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Rune here, despite Bitcoin dumping, is hitting a buy fucking signal here this week. All right? Again, Rune is hitting a buy signal here this week, despite this entire market dumping into the shitter. And Bitcoin is what? Heading towards a cycle low. Now, there is risk in this play, right? So this is... Uh, a part of my choice for a coin prior to the crypto mindset course. And this is my choice only, right? So don't blame DCC. <laughs> but um, this one here, right, is looking fucking mighty nice, right? Rune is looking good. Um, so let me break it down to you a little in a few different ways, right? So um, one, one way was particularly if we're looking at it from a bird's eye view, right? I think there's been enough pain in this bear market that now it's in its accumulation phase. It's been in its accumulation phase in honesty since November of last year, right? It's mainly been in that, that range of one to $2, which is why it's kind of boring. Right. Um, but I think it's been in that range long enough over the course of, uh, what, nine months or so that it can break out of there going into Q4. Right. So like I said, going into Q4. So this is, you know, there's no guarantee Rune pops up here into the crypto mindset course and gives you gains enough to get a discount or to pay for the course. Right. But I think it has a chance to do that simply because it is on a buy signal. And some of the buy sell signals have actually been pretty good on Rune, both against Tether and against Bitcoin. Right. So I'm going to take a look at this from multiple angles for you guys. Right. And uh, Ari Rod Crypto in the chat, 100% correct, says it's all going to zero, boys. Um, but let, let's take a look at the buy sell signals here on Rune um, throughout the bear market and part of the bull, right? Or let's just fucking throw out its, most of its history here. For, so October 2020, all right? No signals yet because it's a brand new coin on the weekly. We got a sell here, but then we, we basically got that canceled out as soon as we got this move. So this would be, uh, an, uh, what, when you cancel out a sell, this would essentially be a buy, right? You buy here on this week at about $1.40. And it ran all the way here until this week. It gave a sell signal right here at eleven dollars. So dollar to eleven dollars, basically. So a nice ten x, right, give or take, a little bit there, depending on exactly what you're looking at here on price, right? Sweet. It sold off. You got a buy signal here that was canceled, right? No buy signal here. Nice buy signal. Sell, buy, sell, buy. A cluster during a a severe downtrend that was canceled, right? 
this buy signal was not hit until a few weeks later. You got a sell signal right after that. So for the most part, buy sell signals have been working pretty good. This one did not confirm. These sell signals did confirm that stayed into a downtrend. Buy sell, sell, buy sell. Now we have a cluster of buys in this area, right? So what does that tell me? We have not had a cluster of buys, right? Well, we had, was that thunder? Damn. Yeah, I know it's bad. Damn. Hur Hurricane Hillary. Hell yeah, she's fucking, she's angry. <laughs> For real, dude, it scared me. It almost uh, made the, the power shut off. Shit, I got an emergency alert here. National Weather Service. A flash flood is in effect for this area until 7 p.m. Pacific. This is dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing areas subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. That sounds lovely. <laughs> but it didn't say anything about not buying crypto. Yeah. Wait until we get that signal. <laughs> <laughs> this one's giving it to us right now. Um, <laughs> damn, that, I wonder if they heard that on the fucking audio. That was loud as fuck. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, anywho. Um, so this cluster of buy signals that we've had here is basically showing accumulation in this range by what? Whales, right? And I did put this on the chart here a few weeks ago. Once we came back above this area of a dollar, right? We did basically return above there. That's a, an automatic buy, um, right? And so now, right, again, it's looking to kind of coil up here between a dollar, a dollar and seven cents to a do basically two dollars or uh, one dollar and 96 cents looking to coil in that area that might take a month right and then it's looking to basically pop back up here and pop back up to that four dollar area so again looking for that 2x plus right and then um, we'll see what it how it contends with this trend line later around that six dollar mark that could be a very good time to take profit on this going into sometime in september into early q4 right so that's the play now there, this may or may not give you a discount on the course, right? You may or may not have profits above that $2 range when the course comes around. If you don't, right, this is also why I chose this as the play because, right, essentially, I, I can hold Rune for the next 12 to 18 months, no problem, right? So if, I'm just, if it's just bouncing for the next three to six months, if it continues bouncing between $1 to $2, I don't care. I'll just add more to the position. Cool. Why would I like Rune? Thorchain is a native DEX to the Thorchain ecosystem. It is a DeFi exchange, and that exchange holds native Bitcoin, native Ethereum, and native versions of other layer ones. So I like DEXs that are actual DeFi, that are decentralized, and right those DEXs essentially, um, what do you call it, are permissionless. Right? They're not going to get shut down. They're not going to have KYC put on them. They're not going to have the same pressures as what Uniswap has right now. Right? So this is a better DEX um, than Uniswap. It's going to take a while for the market to notice that. And maybe once they do, then volume comes to this area. What happens when volume comes into Rune's DeFi ecosystem? Well, more Rune gets burned. Right? Price go up. It gets more, it gets more rare. Right? So this is a solid project at a fundamental level, and it's a long-term hold. So that's the play. Um, no guarantees, right? but it's looking good. And this is something that is giving us an opportunity that we haven't seen in a while. right? Um, so that's Rune there. If we go to the daily now, now this is pumping here today when everything else in the market is fucking dumping. right? That's a sign whales are splashing, right? So... In terms of where we are right now in our pattern, I believe we have a wave one here, a wave one, two, three, four, and five for our wave one, A, B, and C for our wave two. Our wave three is either in or close to in. I'll talk about that in a minute. Right, and then we got a wave five coming, right? So what is the pattern here, right? Wave one, two, if this is like a wave one, two, three, four, and then five of three, sure, maybe the wave three is not over yet, but what this likely is, right, is we have the wave three in, and let's take that bottom of the wave three to the top of the wave three. Boom, came back down here and hit what? The 0 0.382 exactly, right? Now, the question is, is this gonna already pop out, right? If it if this goes above $1.67, the most recent high of $1.67, right? That's a buy, right? Because why? It's gonna continue up, right? 
Uh, it's tr pushing its Bollinger Bands right now. Um, but I putting in a nice buy for about a dollar, maybe a dollar seventy, right? A little bit of higher, a dollar sixty nine. There you go. Meme it up a little bit, right? Dollar sixty nine, right? I'll put a buy in order in for that because worst thing that can happen is it does hit a dollar sixty nine, right? And then it pops back down here to about a dollar thirty, maybe at worst case scenario back down here to a dollar twenty. What will I do in that case? I'll buy more, right? And then it'll pop up again, anyways. Um, so. What is its wave one? 42% increase. What is its wave three? Oh my God, not even a double. I can't wake up for a 2X. 86% uh, increase, right? And so if we take the top of its wave three to the bottom of the current wave four, what would an increase look like here? A Fibonacci extension, right? Then if we pop up now, right? The next mark here is a dollar, dollar 85, right? Um, so the, the upside here in the short, short term is, is decent, $1.85. I would say if you bring it up here, that's more in line with the wave one, the wave five, some usually is a little bit more volatile than the wave one that would give you a little bit of a better mark. And that would be a dollar, uh, 14, sorry, two fourteen. All right. So for the current price on a breakout, that would only be a 30% increase. Did you make money? The answer is yes. So that's not a free crypto mindset course, but that would be a discount. Right. So that's my first target here um, is, on this is buying between one to two dollars, but probably mainly between a uh, dollar twenty to basically a dollar seventy or a dollar sixty nine. Right. And then aiming for some profits around that two dollar and, and 14 mark on the short term, probably then sometime in September, a lot of chop before then continuing up to that four to twelve dollar mark. Right. So again, that four to twelve dollar mark is probably not going to hit here prior to the crypto mindset course. Right. But that two dollar fifteen mark can. All right. So that's the goal. If you're buying now, cool. Right. If you're buying at the end of August and it's down here to dollar twenty, cool. Right. And then um, basically look to take profits here. It might take some time. It might take six months for the for for us to go back above two dollars again. Who knows? Right. But it, once it does, we'll be in the money. So that's the play. All right, simple play. Now you can do that play only if you like, or you can gamble a little bit and have a little fun, right? 